We are in VirtualBox, and in this case, we're in version 5, and we're in a virtual machine right now, and I'm going to show you how to enable the clipboard. So the clipboard is enabled first by installing the guest editions in VirtualBox. So what we need to do to install those guest editions is go to the devices at the top and click Insert Editions CD Image. Once that's inserted, then you'll see in File Explorer a little picture here of your VirtualBox Guest Editions logo and icon. So double click on that, and when you do, you're going to get a prompt to install the Guest Editions through a wizard that appears. So we'll double click on the third file from the bottom, or just right click and choose Open. And you're going to see a wizard comes up. So you can just go ahead and choose next, 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 and then finish. Just choose all the defaults. Then it'll prompt you to uh, reboot the virtual machine, which you should do. And then when you get back to the screen, we're back to our window screen all logged in. Then we can use the clipboard in order to get files or data from our host computer into our virtual machine. So let's go up to Devices at the top, go to Shared Clipboard, and just make sure this is set to Bidirectional, so that way you can go back and forth. If you want to go Guest to Host or Host to Guest, that's fine too, but if you don't want to worry about it, just go Bidirectional and it'll do both. Now let's go ahead and click the box, the middle box in the top right, and we're going to open up a file here, so we see uh, just a, a text file on our uh, host computer. And we're going to open up Notepad on our virtual machine. So if we go into uh, our host file and choose to copy, simply by going to Edit, Select All, or select the area that you want, and then choose Copy, then we can go into our virtual machine, and we can right-click, and we can choose Paste. So we've now pasted from our host computer into our virtual machine. Now one thing that this doesn't do is you cannot copy and paste files themselves. So I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this, and I'll close this. So what a lot of people think you can do with this is if you right-click and choose Copy, and then you right-click and choose Paste. But no, that Paste option is not there. The only way to get files through host, the host file uh, by going from the host to the virtual machine as far as files themselves go, rather than data inside the files, is to go back to Devices and choose Drag and Drop, and also choose Bidirectional, or choose the Shared Folders options. And in here, you would set up a machine folder, and then link it to a host file, or host folder, on your host computer. So you click on this PC, and then you would choose uh, a folder that you would like to use in order to link those things together. So, uh, if we choose the drag and drop, I can just drag it over and let go. Or I can choose the shared folders, where you got to turn network discovery on. And you got to wait a few seconds for everything to refresh. Then you'll see a, an icon called VBox Server. You double click on that icon, and you can see it links back to your desktop on your host. And now I see my DC Diag file, the same one that I see over here. And if I want, I can now copy and paste that onto my virtual machine. So I'll go ahead and say replace the file, and there it is. So that's how you set up copying of data between the host machine and the virtual machine using VirtualBox, in this case version 5.